it is a baby <laughs> So today we are here to guess Nicole's baby's gender and we will be doing that by trying out some old wives tale and yeah we'll figure out whether the old wives thinks it's a girl or a boy so for me i did the old wives tale challenge the other time and it was accurate oh so that's so tiring. let's see let's see if it'll be accurate this time around <laughs> we'll be finding out nicole's baby's gender in a few days time yeah so we'll find out whether these old wives are telling the truth or not so the first question is about cravings do you have sweet sweet <laughs> No, but it's true! I have sweet cravings! <gasps> okay. But it's also because I have a sweet tooth from young. It's sweet or salty. So your taste buds never really change that much. So mm. you still enjoy sweet stuff. And yes. if according to the old wives, it is a girl. Yay! <laughs> okay, so the reason why they say that uh, cravings actually tell you whether it's a girl or a boy mm. is because it's linked to hormonal surges that changes your body. So like uh, how your body absorbs the nutrients, whether you want more sweet or more savoury food, kind of tells you it's a boy or a girl. So girls mm. like more sweet stuff? I guess. So the next question we have for Nicole is about your morning sickness. And yes. I think we've heard from Nicole about this issue in the previous video. So how was your morning sickness? Very, very bad. Super uh, bad. Sure not. You sure? see the cute cards? No, I never see. Okay, so according to the old wives, if you have nausea and very bad morning sickness, it's most likely a girl. <laughs> and this is because of the HCG levels, which is the hormones in your body increasing. And they say that if you have a girl, your HCG levels rise higher than if you have a boy. So you Why? feel more nauseous. Do you know? Because the old wife says so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. The old wife says so. <laughs> so the next question we have for Nicole is about how does she feel about her hair, nails and skin in the recent weeks? So my nails, I've been biting it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she has always been. <laughs> it's not a My new. My nails are wrecked, guys. Like I, I buy when I'm nervous, and I've been getting quite nervous lately. So basically, my nails are non-existent. My hair, I just did my hair today. That's why it looks very luscious. Yeah, luscious. But actually, I've been dropping a lot of hair. Really? How much is yeah. a lot? Like every time when I shower, it's like one bunch. And your skin? Do you break out? Um, not that bad. But I think it's just because like, at the start, I was too lazy to wash my face. <laughs> so wow, all the I secrets have a lot of like, pimples, but now I'm like, you know, taking Back to care your of my skin. Care skin routine. So it's okay, better. so you would say, is your skin good? Or good. 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 Mm. Okay. Good. Okay, if you were to <laughs> rate it in general, hair, skin and nails, would you say it got better or got worse? Okay, fine. I would say it got worse. Then. It got worse. Yeah. Eh? According to that, it is a baby girl. <laughs> Really? They like to believe really? that the girl will actually steal your mom's beauty. So 3 out of 3 now is all girls. I think she's cheating. No, I'm not. I'm really not. The next question we have for Nicole is about her brain. How do you feel about your brain? <laughs> do you have pregnancy brain? Yeah, I forget things a lot. Uh -huh. um, very slow. According to that, Nicole is having a baby boy. Slightly uh, confused. <laughs> The next part of the old wife's tale is about your bum. So I think your bum has been growing quite significantly. <laughs> so the question about your bum is whether or not you feel like your pregnancy belly sits high or low on your body. I think it's very high. I feel like it's slightly lower than high. As you see, there's like a bit of space here. It could be higher, you know what I mean? Right. Ah, uh, this one is keeping us a little confused. Because if it's a baby girl, it sits higher on your belly and if it's slightly lower as a baby boy, okay, I think it's neutral position right now. <laughs> this this why old wife is not helping us much, alright? Yeah. The next one is also about your belly. Mm -hmm. And it's whether or not your belly is wider or more narrow in shape. Oh, I don't I think it's wider. Okay, I think it's wide. And if it is wide, it is a... Oh, wow, yeah. she's very excited. Hey, this one I didn't know. I really didn't know. This is like the pre-hype of your gender review, right? Yeah. The reason behind understanding the shape of your belly is because they say it's related to the baby's position inside the uterus. Oh. Babies that snuggle sideways will cause a wider bum. So mm. maybe they're trying to say that baby girls like to sleep sideways and it's like a bit like... Wee. Oh. The next old wise tale is about your feet. My feet? And how do you feel about your feet? Is it meant to be like what, swollen? <laughs> yes. So do you oh. feel like your feet has gotten bigger through your pregnancy? Mm. No, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. So, so. <laughs> if it's no swelling, it's a baby girl. <gasps> really? <laughs> okay, and the old wives also talk about the boobies. Do you feel 
mm. that they have evolved. Yes, they have. over the weeks. I think they have pregnancy. like both in sensitivity wow. and in like size, wow. and not just the boobs, like the nipples also got damn big. <laughs> like, yes. This is ladies yes. first. It is, it's like it's, it's good to normalize yeah, like correct. female. It is true. It is true. Yeah. Like as yeah. as pregnant mummies, your body really go through many changes. That's why you have all these old wise questions. Your feet starts yeah. to swell. Your hair starts to break. Your nails get brittle. Your boobs start to swell. There's so many aspects of becoming a mom that you know mm. you, you have to deal with. You know it's not easy. And and although a little bit awkward, a little bit shy to talk about very intimate parts of your body, I feel that mm. it's completely normal. But this question is, mm. do you feel that your, your breasts, breasts got fuller, but still remain in proportion, or it is blown out? <laughs> <laughs> oh like, no, I think it's definitely in proportion. So in according proportion. to that, proportionately bigger breast is. Oh, really? Yeah, oh my, oh my god. god. At this point, uh, the other question is about the areola, which is the skin. Oh, the nipples. Yes. <laughs> so, has it changed in colour? Color? I feel like it got a little bit darker, but not substantially. Okay, okay. Yeah. But just a little bit, not like super. Okay, like. okay. But there are changes, right? So, according to that, if it changes, it actually means there's more hormones that can cause hyperpigmentation in your body. Mm. So this would increase your melanin in your body. So areas um, like your scars and stuff will actually darken in colour and your areola as well. So according to that, Nicole might be having a boy. Oh. So the next question is a little bit TMI, but it's about your... Ex <laughs> Haven't all these questions be kind of TMI? <laughs> this one is even more TMI. It's about your excretions. Oh my... Oh, sorry. Happy. <laughs> but anyways, it is about your urine. Mm -hmm. And have you been going to the toilet more regularly? A lot. Yeah. I think like every night I go at least four to five times. Wow. Yeah. And you're drinking the same amount of water. Yeah. You feel very, very urgent very quickly. I can still hold it in, but it's very uncomfortable. Like you feel bloated. Yeah. Ah. And a bit painful sometimes. Do you know why? Pressing on my bladder. Yeah. yeah. So that as your uterus expands, it actually presses against your bladder. And your bladder will start to feel fuller mm. before it reaches the max capacity. Like, you know, before when you can hold a lot of pee. But now that baby is pressing against your bladder, you do feel the need to go to the toilet a bit more. Yeah. But this question is not about how frequently you pee, it's about the colour of your pee. <laughs> I think it's kind of clear. Very yeah, hydrated. Yeah. Okay, so the question is whether or not <coughs> your pee colour darkened or got brighter in colour. Oh. I think it depends on the amount of water I drink. It's true, it's but true. But generally, I think it got lighter. If it becomes brighter in colour, according to the old wives, it's a baby boy. <laughs> the colour change is triggered by your fluid intake like you said earlier, as mm. well as the vitamins. So, I guess, yeah, maybe a baby boy sucks up more of your vitamins. Next question is about your weight. Through your 17 weeks of pregnancy, do you feel like you gained a lot of weight? And which part of your body do you feel like the weight has been gone to? I feel like everywhere. Like spread out. Yeah, spread out everywhere. But I don't think it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So I put on around like 5 kilos for yeah. the past 17 mm. weeks. If the weight gain is at the bottom half, the old wife's thing is a girl! Oh. <laughs> so the other old wife's tale that they usually talk about is mm. the baby's heart rate. And I think this one you yeah. kind of know about, right? So go, go, it's a go, little go, bit go. biased, okay? So is the baby's heart rate above 140 beats per minute? according to your last ultrasound, or <laughs> slightly slower than that? It was around 170. Prove it, let's see the ultrasound. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. <laughs> ah, then 171. Wow, okay. 171, very fast. <laughs> yeah, it is very fast. So according to the old wife's tale, if your baby's heartbeat is above 140 beats per minute, it is most likely a girl. So the next question, I have for you is about your sleep. What position do you usually fall asleep to? On the side. Left or right? So I used to sleep on the right, but then I read somewhere that it's bad. Bad? Yeah, they say that you should sleep on your left and it has a lower chance of a miscarriage or something like that. So now I try to sleep on my left, but then I always go to my right again. But yeah. you naturally fall asleep on your... On the right. On the right. According to that, <laughs> sleeping on your right side would mean that you have a baby girl. Ooh. 
So for the next part of the old wife's tale, we are going to take a closer look at Nicole's ultrasound pictures and this is because we are going to look at baby's skull. Oh. So they believe that the head shape and the skull shape actually tells you whether it's a baby girl or boy. It's super round, it's crazy. Do you see his? Oh, it's! Ah. And if baby has a rounded skull, it's most likely a baby girl. Now we have to get some props in because this is a test and this is the wedding ring test. So according to the old wives tale, based on the motion of how your wedding ring moves on top of your belly, so we're going to hang it by a thread. Right? Are you serious? So we need to observe the movements. So we're going to release the wedding ring and then we're going to look at the movements, okay? Circles? I think it's quite apparent that it's circular motion. Yeah. According to the movement of the ring, it's a baby. <laughs> really? If the ring moves in a circular motion, they believe yeah. it's a girl. Oh. And if it's side to side, they believe it's a boy. Okay, we have come to the last old wife's tale. And this one is about your eyes. You will need to look into the mirror and look at yourself. Like stare at myself. Into your eyes. <laughs> okay. And to see whether or not your pupils actually dilate. Yeah, I think it dilates eh, a bit. Yeah. A bit. Okay, one more time, one more time. No, just... You know, it shrinks. <laughs> so I think it doesn't dilate. <laughs> so, according to the old wives, if your pupils remain the same size, it means that it's a girl. I think we have a very, very strong case of girl here. Yeah, I think there's only two. Yeah. Two that were boys, right? Right, there's about 75% odds that it's a girl according to all the Lao Tai Po. Lao Tai Po, please! Okay, so guys, stay tuned to find out whether or not all these old wives are actually right. Thanks for watching this episode of Expecting Soon and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! You <laughs> come in and make a guess what the old wives tell us. Let's okay, see. boy. I say boy. Okay, money. Yay! <laughs> you, you, you're wrong. I lost plot twist. I read the letter. No, he did not. You did? I don't know. I, <laughs> I cannot. I don't know who to believe. No! I mean, it was at my sofa for like... Wait, so it's... 15 days. <laughs>